perhaps one of the most famous snipers in history, Lyudmila Pavlichinko is often regarded as one of the best marksmen ever and is a hero to many. Lyudmila Mikhailovna Belova was born on July 12, 1916 in Biela Tserkva, Ukraine. When she was 14, her family moved to Kiev, where she joined the O-S-O-A-V-I-A-K-H-I-M. I'm going to begin to try to pronounce that. A paramilitary shooting club in the Soviet Union. At 16, she married Alexei Pavlichenko and had one son with him before divorcing him at an unknown time later. In 1937, she went to Kiev University, where she earned a degree in history. When the Nazis invaded the Soviet Union, Lyudmila was among the first to sign up. She declined a position as a nurse in favor of joining the 25th Rifle Division. One month after becoming a sniper, she got her first two kills near the town of Belyayevka. During the siege of Odessa, she killed 187 enemy combatants. When Odessa was overrun by the Romanian army, she was reassigned to help hold off the siege of Sevastopol. Her preferred weapon was the Mosin Nagan, despite the semi-automatic, yet less accurate, firing of the SVT-40. By May, she was promoted to lieutenant. One year after she first joined, Pavlichenko was hit by mortar fire. Rather than returning to the service, she was sent on a publicity tour to the Soviet Union's allies, Canada and the United States. She became the first ever Soviet citizen to be welcomed by an American president. While in America, she was appalled by the questions the media asked, even going so far as to say her uniform made her look fat. She went on tour in the countries, receiving a Colt revolver from the United States and a Winchester rifle from Canada, both of which are now on display in Russia. In November, she went to England, where she raised money to help wounded Red Army soldiers by x-ray machines. Pavlichenko returned to her country in 1943. She went on to become an instructor for the remainder of the war. After World War II ended, she was the chief research assistant for the Soviet Navy until 1953. She became heavily involved with helping Red Army veterans until her death. On October 10, 1974, Lyudmila died of a stroke. Today, Lyudmila Pavlichenko is regarded as a Russian hero. She ultimately earned the rank of Major and had 309 confirmed kills, making her the deadliest female sniper. In her lifetime, she was awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union, the highest Soviet honor. She is fondly remembered by her nickname, Lady Death. Pavlichenko exemplified the honor, bravery, skill, and patriotism that caused the Soviet Union to win the Eastern Front and defeat the Nazi terror. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm Matthew, and I hope I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, where's the dear baby dear from your eye? Though it's hard to pass, I know, I know, I'll be sick of the death to go, don't cry, don't die. There's a silver lining in the sky, one more old thing, cheerio, chin, chin, na, boo, toogaloo, goodbye.